This river right here has poop in it. Well, actually, up until 2022 it had. Thanks to one of the biggest infrastructure projects in recent decades, this is more or less solved and luckily for all the people living next to it. Let me tell you, this river stank. We are right in the middle of the highest density region of Europe, the Ruhr Valley, called after the River Ruhr. Our dirty river is just up north and called Emscher and has been one of the dirtiest rivers of all of Europe going straight through the densest areas. It has been gathering the not so fancy liquids of our civilization ranging from human waste, chemical waste and more. Nowadays it barely even resembles what we think of as a river. It's mostly straight, has no fish in it and has no natural riverbed. But this wasn't always what this river has been like. A long time ago this river was actually a river like the rivers we know and enjoy for recreational purposes. In the middle ages it has been a natural border and an important fishing ground. This historical artifact is still present in the fact that moated castles are still sprinkled across the length of the river even today. But with the early industrialization sweeping over Europe in the 19th century, demand for water in industrial processes and the general public increased in the region around the river. Due to large available freshwater sources by Lippe, North, Ruhr, South, the water of the Emscher River was not used for freshwater demands and mostly used to release pit and wastewater from the large amount of coal mines into the Emscher River. This obviously led to heavy pollution of the river. The low gradient, the pronounced mannering course of the river and mining related subsidence led to numerous floods at the end of the 19th century, which resulted in an increasing risk of epidemics due to fecal matter carried along. This obviously had to be solved. Thus we did the only reasonable thing we could have thought of. Straighten the river, put it around 3 meters deeper than it was and replace the river mouth multiple times during the process. For this an association has been created in 1899 responsible for wastewater treatment, securing the drain, flood protection and water body maintenance. Well and this was a state this river has been going on for a while, just up until 1992 when a process of renaturation has been started and planned to go on for 30 years making it the largest and longest going infrastructure project in Europe in recent decades. Its goal was simple but intensive. Move all of the wastewater previously fed into the Emscher below into a separate canal and introduce meandering and similar river features back to some parts of the river. By 2020 this immense project has been finished and several pump stations along the separate canal have been placed to keep a steady flow while at the same time not getting into the trouble of having to dig too deep. Most impressively this project has been budgeted outstandingly, staying really close to what was planned back in 1992. Unusual for German major construction sites. But even after all these measures it will still take decades for nature to fully recover here. Nevertheless we can already see that nature is returning and the renaturation of this dirty, stinking river is definitely a positive precedent for other environmental projects around the world. Thank you for watching.